say it's time to start a new style of vlog. Um, my husband and I kind of have a little bit of a New Year's-ish resolution. I mean, we don't really believe in New Year's resolutions. They usually fail. But we've been both sitting on it for a long time now. We're still getting our lifestyle out here. You know, we don't want to do anything too drastic, but we eat, like, so much fast food all the time. We eat a lot of junk food or whatever is easiest, and we're just at a place where we just, we need to be healthier. We need to teach our kids what it means to be healthier. So we're just going to, we just kind of have this goal in mind. Not really a goal, just wanting to change up our lifestyle just a little bit, not very much. But neither one of us like eating healthy, so I'm going to actually document it. I'm thinking of just kind of a new style of video here for this channel to where I start documenting like different meals that we're doing, um, things that I'm finding like on Pinterest and YouTube and cookbooks. I mean, I'm not great in the kitchen, but I do like to try out different things. So my goal pretty much is just to overall eat healthier, do healthier, um, and just I start adding in more healthier choices. Like tonight I'm still doing like uh, green spaghetti which is a family favorite, but I'm trying a recipe from Natasha's Kitchen here on YouTube. Uh, it's a, um, almonds and green beans. So, um, just, again, just kind of experimenting more. So, like, not so much taking out much, but adding in, and as a result of adding in healthier options, I am cutting out um, unhealthy stuff, and it is something I have done in the past, and I have really liked it, but it's just about sticking to it this time like each time I say I'm going to do this I like have either ended up pregnant and my taste buds have changed and I've had to stop the lifestyle just to accommodate pregnancy or just something came up that just kind of threw us off but um, now that we're in a season of life where you know things are kind of getting mellowed out again I feel like it's a good time to really put our nutrition as a priority um you know, taking the supplements and the vitamins. Um, I use the Springs Life supplements. I've got a discount code that I will uh, have on the screen here as well as link it down below in my affiliate link. But I have been with them since the start of my pregnancy and they have it's helped me a lot through the uncomfortable symptoms of pregnancy but as well as continuing it because they are a more holistic brand. So I'm taking that supplements for just my husband and I, not just my husband, our kids too, obviously. I'm going to be cooking for the kids. Um, but I just kind of want to document just like what kind of meals we're doing, what kind of things we're doing. Um, and I would say that this is definitely something that if you're not kitchen savvy, if you're not good at cooking, um, which I am like the queen of not being able to cook, um, this could be easy enough for you. And I know that this kind of style has been successful for me in the past. Um, again, it's just about continuing it. So uh, I'm excited to be on this journey with my family and to be able to share it here as a way to help keep myself accountable as well. Hand sliced all of these almonds and I'm sure there was an easier way to do it, but I just did every single one of them by hand. I made a loaf of bread in my bread maker. I've got my green spaghetti. I just used pesto and spaghetti. It's just a family favorite and super quick and easy. I'm pretty sure pesto is healthy, but I have no idea. And now it's time to finish the green beans, which could possibly be overboiled by now, but we'll figure it out when we get there. Salt, pepper, almonds, and butter are in, and then I'll add the green bean mixture in just a minute. Again, hopefully it turns out all right. Final result. It looks great. I'm excited to try it. It looks really, really good. I can't Oh, and it was easy. That's the best part is it was easy to make. Final meal. I tried to make it as visually appealing as possible. But we've got our bread, our spaghetti with pesto, and then our green bean mixture. That's a well-run meal. I mean, you've got your carbs, your protein, your vegetable. There might be a little double carb portion, but I mean, I've always eaten spaghetti with bread, so I guess that's okay. I feel like it's well-rounded. Food prep day, so I've got a lot of stuff I'm going to do. Fed, I'm going to put it back in the fridge. I usually feed it once a week, but if I'm cooking bread like later this week, I'll feed it again and make bread that day. And leave. First meal prep almost done. I've got potatoes cooking in the oven, and I'm going to do an egg, hams, uh, spinach, and bell pepper scramble. Um, I just got this off of a YouTube video, so hopefully that'll turn out, and I'll just actually have that for lunches for the week. Ham thawed out. The potatoes are done cooking. I'm going to let these cook for a minute, then I'll add the 
eggs and the rest of the vegetables as well as some seasoned salt. Teen eggs. I'll do about a handful of bell peppers. We're going to use these for other things later this week, but just enough to season a little bit. About a handful of chopped spinach. Do another pinch. Just kind of eyeballing it right now. I just added the potatoes. I didn't do anything other than pop them in the oven for about 45 minutes, and then I've got just mixture gave me four servings of this stuff for lunches this week i'll probably end up eating one later today but this looks delicious it has taken me all day but i think the food prep is done there's one more thing in the oven but i've got cucumber salad egg bites um ham and egg and vegetable scrambles i've got like some lunch boxes for the week vegetables cut um i Probably don't need to do a whole lot of cooking this week. Normally food prep doesn't take me too long in the mornings, but this week I just had a lot to do and I figured why not just get it done so I can minimize the amount of other cooking I have to do throughout the week. Here are my what is going to be oat bars. They just need to cook in the oven. And I also have overnight oats um, for breakfast this, this week. So I've been sick for the last week, so the whole eating healthy thing, though I didn't do terrible, um, I kind of went out the window a little bit because it was just about trying to eat and see what I can get into my body. So now that, I mean, I'm still on the edge of this bug, but now that I'm feeling somewhat normal, I'm going to get back into it. I've been doing some meal prep today, but nothing other than just maintenance, chopping out basic vegetables. I didn't really put any like meals together, more like dinner stuff just kind of getting ready to go but um i think i'm going to end my first vlog here i hope you did enjoy uh this video the style of vlogging let me know if you want to see more um i don't really have a timeline of when i'll update but um just kind of when i feel like it but um, let me know if you do like the style of video and um i could possibly share just kind of recipes that i've been doing i i usually will go off of like either Pinterest or YouTube or one of my cookbook recipes um, but I'm excited to continue on this healthy journey um, I do want to start running that's definitely a goal of mine to do within the next few weeks or so again after I get the off of the remainder of the sickness I'll probably start running um, probably start slow once or twice a week but um, yeah that's uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.